teachers of Reddit, what are some positive trends you have noticed in today's youth? As a general rule they are more understanding and forgiving if somebody is different, don't get me wrong, some of them are still dicks to those kids, but it is a shrinking minority, edit, wow, most upvoted comment of the day, reading the comments it seems many many of you agree, that can only be a good thing. My GF is a teacher and she is amazed at how uncool drinking and driving is. Kids are like that stupid you will kill someone. They literally make fun of kids who do it. In my day everyone drove drunk. Very positive change. Edit, for the 20, 000 plus people saying my username doesn't check out I'm going to have to ask you to do something risky and google hard game man. If you don't want to do it, you're missing out. Yahoo! Exclamation mark tilde people who have hard gay in their lives are better for it. I am a teacher at a high school in Missouri. All of the stereotypes you hear slash see in rural high schools are still prevalent. However, almost every group works harder academically. It is no longer cool to get F's and fail. Even country boys who will never leave the farm or go to college care about getting passing grades. 600 plus students in RHSBTW kindness. My college students are kind and supportive to one another most of the time. High school teacher here, the most admirable quality of the rising generation is their ability to take anything, and I mean anything, and turn it into a meme. I asked my wife, primary teacher, and she says empathy and adaptability are the two traits she has seen dramatically improve over her last 15 years. Kids seem to be better at putting themselves in another's position and understanding their situation. Also they seem to be much more flexible with changes whether in the classroom or the outside world. Spouse to a high school teacher, she had to say, they were born into the internet and social media. It is not something they had to learn. Also as a result of which, they are also more self-reliant with research. And most importantly, contrary to the largest complaints, today's kids are extremely hard-working, and are less judgy of nerds, less judgmental in general. The majority of my students are in the 18 to 22 age range. I'm 37, for reference. Students are far kinder than they ever were when I was a student. They go out of their way to help each other, and they are much less judgmental than my cohort was. For the most part, they are really polite and respectful. I know a lot of professors deal with problems from cell phones, but I find that if I tell them to use their phones respectfully and only for class purposes, they do. The only real problem I seem to have with this cohort is the constant headphone wearing, but I think that's a battle I'm just going to lose. Edit, wow, my inbox, thank you all for responding about how headphones help you in class, for what it's worth, I allow students who need them to use them, provided they are registered with disability services, I also allow them in lab classes, it just gets really frustrating in lectures for me to have to repeat instructions because students couldn't hear over their headphones, or when someone is too busy rocking out to listen to the lecture. I'm going to have to think of some strategies to help those students who need them while still making sure they're not being disruptive or missing important stuff. Edit the second, I am truly, deeply sorry for my spelling error. I am leaving my very small mistake up as a badge of shame. They are generally independent and self-reflective. When I first started teaching I thought I had simply lucked out getting students who were consistently bright, engaged and curious. But having now taught at three different universities on two different continents, it seems to be a general trend across universities. They are also, as noted elsewhere, generally kind and empathetic, and both my male and female students are usually pretty emotionally mature. The eight-year-olds I teach really make a huge deal about plastic. We watched the Blue Planet 2 episode with them and since then they have been so mindful and really want to protect the oceans. My daycare kids are much more likely to wash their hands than my generation was when we were their age lol. Kids are openly kind and loving regarding their parents. I had a tough football player day in class once. I love my mom. She's my best friend. I see the old uck my parents su uck mentality falling by the wayside recently. 
Girls ask boys out more often, boys are starting to expect girls to be more frank and straightforward with what they want more often, other than that just like my colleagues. Generally kinder, more generous, understanding of differences, mature, on the other hand, I find them generally more sad, maybe more cynical, and overall quite happily pessimistic toward the future. A kind of aha we're so fucked vibe I feel sometimes. Edit, I got to say that I teach in France. It has its importance. A realization that any sort of specialization is a good thing and that a four-year college isn't necessary for everyone, lots of my students want to go to tech slash trade school or apprenticeships. They're learning from my debt-laden generation. Edit to add, Jesus people I don't welcome my kids to class every day and tell them that college is for chumps and to become an electrician. If a student tells me their goals and they can be well achieved through trade or vocational school, I encourage that. If a student tells me their goals and they need to go to university, then I encourage that. I worried about my son, who has mild autism, for the first 10 years of his life. I kept telling him that middle school would be hard, kids would tease him, etc. And that high school would be even harder in the same respect. 15 years ago, I would have been right. Fast forward to now, and I'm constantly amazed and grateful for how well he is treated. Even the jock kids and big snotty idiot kids who would make perfect bullies are inclusive, kind, and even sometimes protective of my son. I've told all of them how appreciative I am, and even got a few of them Christmas presents this year. Love those kids. Edit, a few people are doing the math. My son is 11 and I'm 30. He's not in high school yet, but he will be there with the same kids he is in middle school with, so I feel confident about it. Edit 2, my first gold. I'm not even a teacher. Smile. I teach on the college level, from what I can tell. Many of them seem more open to having a variety of kind of friends, where I teach has a big hookup and party culture, but they seem to have genuine cross-gender friendships despite that, and in my opinion, that's been good for them. Edit, I feel like I should specify, since this comment blew up, that this is dependent on who's available to you in terms of variety, for example, I went to a very racially diverse undergrad and had all kinds of friends. My students go to a very very white college and do not have racial diversity in their friendships as a result, but I think a fair amount that is structural. I also feel kind of like the bad guy here, but it's interesting that men in fraternities came up, because a lot of times they are the exception with my students. They'll really only hang out with their brothers, and depending on the fraternity, can be really awful to women. They really get each other, as much as they diss on each other, joke around. And yes, get to the point of blows, they can usually put issues aside, sometimes to a fault, but overall they are pretty understanding of each other. Not a teacher, but I've noticed that a lot of children seem to be questioning authority rather than flat out rebelling. The high school students I work with today seem significantly more emotionally intelligent than those of my generation, especially the young men. They are aware of their own feelings and are better at separating their feelings from fact, i.e., they're more likely to say I'm feeling X, Y, Z, negative emotion right now than uck. This teacher just hates me, what a bitch. They're also better at seeing and accommodating emotions in other people. There's more awareness of and sympathy for mental health issues. Here's an illustration, the other day. Some of the students I coach were conversing and one young man asked how frequently they had a good cry. They all answered. And he said, I think I'm overdue for a good cry. And his peers started suggesting good movies to induce tears. It was an utterly shocking scene for me. Great but nothing I would ever have expected. Kids can be stunningly introspective and empathetic when you ask them to talk about their interpersonal issues. There's a real effort to perspective taking that goes beyond what I encountered at that age. Also, the students I work with have some selection bias. To be fair, but the ones I encounter as a whole care a lot about current events. It's like it's actually cool to know and care what's going on. And it's uncool not to. This is very different from how I grew up. 
I think a lot of them would agree with the statement being smart is cool and learning new things is fun which seems simplistic, but isn't true to everyone. I think it's related to the pressure to get into college. This pressure to be more well-rounded in your interests is a double-edged sword, kids get social capital from being exposed to different ideas and cultivating interests. But it's also a difficult race to model yourself into some ideal. Edit, I should clarify that I am a coach, not a teacher. So my sample size is more homogeneous. I am also in a unique position where I regularly interact with urban public school kids, mostly low-income students of color, largely white, wealthy suburban public school kids, and first-year college students. These observations apply across that spectrum.